Here is Tompkins. Oh, and he's given it away to Romy and then to Mac. It's a classic Gallic response. The panache of Intermac, the timing of Intermac. Well, last year, these two met in round one in Paris, where Wales famously came back from 16 0 down at half time to whack a self destructing French outfit. Warren Gatlin predicted a slam there, and then he was right. What will the future await? for Fabian Gaultier in 2020. Here's Paul Villanza. All South African second row pairing. Villanza from Pretoria. Up goes Lee Halfpenny. Generally brilliant in the air. But he's lost out there. And it's Terry Boutier who capitalises fully on a very rare Lee Halfpenny aerial error. Look at Josh Adams and Nick Tompkins, they're both in the same space, they don't both need to be there, they need to take their own space. And you've got to look at, you know, where is, where is the cover there, absolutely nothing behind that. He likes it. Clear transfer, good for me. Ah, the French go driving through with the tectonic power of Paul Villanza, 21 stones and six pounds. That will never be stopped from that kind of range. The nuclear option from France and the Welsh pay. Gregory Aldrich. Much more athletic, kind, different kind of player to the previous incumbent in that shirt, Louis Pickable. Here is in to Mac, quite deep that French back line, trying to get outside the Welsh defence back at Tower for Teddy Toma. Half gets away from Josh Adams. Here is Dupont for back at Tower. The ball goes backwards and in to Mac, drills the cross kick, a piercing cross kick it is. For Gail Fiku, who dances his way, crafts his way past that really stretched Welsh defence. It's that dog leg. You can see Hadley Parks, you can see Nick Tompkins. Hadley Parks is in front of Nick Tompkins. And no time. This attack came from an Alan Wynne Jones turnover close to his own line. What a man he is, what a drive that is by Wales. Gareth Davis, Ken Owens tries to vault over defenders. Just halted short. Here's Dylan Lewis. He's got to score the tight head. And Venom from the valleys at last. And what timing of the try from Wales. They were under so much pressure, close to their own line. What a response. Davis for bigger and another good line from Hadley Parks. He's so good at that. Gets those angles. Here is Tompkins. Oh, and he's given it away to Romy and then to Mac. It's a classic Gallic response. The panache of Intermac, the timing of Intermac, will selling themselves there. That is a gift to France, is a gift to Roman Intermac there. Over 15. Ken Owens, Aaron Wainwright, big line out target just off the bench. Look at the French getting in there amongst that drive. Off goes Tompkins, good defence from Dupont. Had to be there, right place, right time. French scrum half, chance on the outside. Ken Owens cannot deliver what might have been a try scoring pass. And was there a deliberate knock on there? It's being claimed certainly by the limping Josh Adams. And Matt Carley's going to have a check. And this might have repercussions. These are always debatable. Carl's on field decision was just a knock on in the tackle. There's nothing clear and obvious. Listen, to say otherwise, it's a red scrum. Ref, ref.
No, we're not debating it. Moriarty. Ball picked up by Dupont. Oh, it's another penalty. He's got surely. If that's a penalty, he has to go to the pocket. He has to give a yellow card, and he does. And it's Mohamed Awas, who's the second Frenchman, to the bin. And that gives the Welsh some daylight now to peer into. Thomas Williams, Tipperick on the angle. At pace again, good tackling from those French defenders. Dan Bigger gets the ball down for Wales. Has he got the try? It's, it, it has to be for Wales. Look at that clock. It simply has to be. But Matt Carley is not 100% sure. Yeah, he clearly regathers the possession and grounds the ball. So it's a try, you may award the try. He never loses possession clearly, so we can stick with our on-field decision. Knock on advantage. Knock on by Blue, Welsh advantage. Enough, enough, let go. Still deep inside their own territory. Will Rowlands. Williams. Bigger. Tompkins, bit of space. Tompkins is through it. Thomas Williams on his shoulder. Tompkins cannot go all the way. In comes Kamisha. Has he won the penalty? Oh my heavens. What work that was from the Racing 92. Hooker Kamil Shah. He has won the game for France. Russell goes and immense celebrations in the coaching box as you'd expect from Fabian Gaultier and his men. But this has been an explosive game from first whistle to last. And the French, they now march on. The Welsh, a second successive defeat in the Guinness Six Nations for them. But now France, they have beaten England. They have beaten Italy, and now they have beaten Wales. Next, it is Murrayfield. We're all set up, certainly, for a gripping, ripping finale to this Guinness Six Nations. Final score in Cardiff, Wales 23, the fast-maturing France 27.